Hi everybody, this is a quick lesson summary on what we did in class today. And we learned that when you compare rates and ratios, it's best to find the unit rate to compare it per one. And we can find unit rates in tables, in graphs, and in equations. This example that I'm going to show you will find a unit rate in each of those places. So we have Chiara, Giovanni, and Ebony that are triplets, and they always argue over who can answer basic math facts the fastest. After completing a few different math fact activities, Chiara, Giovanni, and Ebony record their data, which is shown below. So I have my triplets, and my triplets have their data shown in three different formats. Chiara has her set up in an equation where T represents the time in seconds and M represents the number of math facts completed. We have Ebony, whose math facts, our data is set up in a graph. And you can see that she has her number of seconds and her number of math facts, and she has them plotted on the graph. And then we have Giovanni, who has taken her math facts and put them in a ratio table so that she has it separated by her seconds and her math facts. So as I said in the lesson summary, if we're going to compare these, the easiest way to do it would be to find the unit rate. And unit rate means per one. So if I want to find out how many math facts Chiara can do per second, what I'm interested in doing then is finding a T where the T represents a time in seconds. I want my T to be equal to 1. So using her equation, M, her math facts, is equal to 5 times the amount of seconds. So if I make my seconds be 1 second, my per 1 to get the unit rate, 5 times 1 is equal to 5 math problems. So 5 is equal to 5. Therefore, I can see that she can get 5 math problems done. Per 1 second. Now, if I take a look at Ebony, Ebony's information is over here in the graph, and she's got everything charted out, and I can, what I want to do is look for a unit rate. Now, the nice thing about a graph is these lines should form a, these dots, sorry, should form a straight line. And if they form a straight line, I should be able to see where my unit rate is. So at one second, I can see that she can get six math facts done. So one second, she can get six math facts done. So six math facts per one second. I could also take that information and I could see that two seconds, she had 12 facts done. So I could take my 2 seconds, 12 facts, make an equivalent ratio, and if I want to get down to 1 second, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so 12 divided by 2 would give me my 6 math problems. So I could use the chart, or I could make an equivalent ratio there to find out that her unit rate. Finally, I have Giovanni, and I can take any of these, because I know if they're in a ratio table, they're all equal, but I want to get it per second. So I'm going to take 520. I could do any of them. I'm just choosing one. And I want to get it down to one second. So I can see that if I divide both parts by five, I can see that I have one second. I can get four math problems done. 20 divided by five is four. So hers is four math facts per one second. So the math fact completion for each student, I have written up there, but we can write it down here. Kiara, hers is 
five math facts per second. We have ebony and ebony's again is six math facts per second. And then we have Giovanni and Giovanni can solve four math facts per second. So taking a look at our final question, who would win the argument and how do you know? Well, they're triplets and I would imagine that they're arguing over something at some point in time or not. But in this case, how would we know? We're going to look at the facts and the facts show that Giovanni has four math facts per second, which is less than Chiara's five math facts per second, which is less than Ebony's. So Ebony can solve more math facts per second than the other two girls. So who would win the argument? Ebony is going to win. How do we know? Ebony can solve six math facts per second. She solves more per second than both of her sisters. So we were able to find a unit rate coming out of an equation here. Found the unit rate for Ebony out of the graph. And for Giovanni, we found the unit rate coming out of a ratio table. So again, hopefully this helps with what we were working on. When you're comparing rates and ratios, it's best to find the unit rate. And we can find unit rates in tables, in graphs, and equations.